We are well into the Anthropocene and a crucial question comes up. How much can we actually push the Earth's resources until we endanger all life on this planet? To explore that question, a group of scientists from the Stockholm Resilience Center came up with the concept of planetary boundaries. They identified and quantified nine interlinked processes that regulate the stability and resilience of the Earth's system. So how are we doing on these boundaries? Well, not so good apparently. Four of them have already been crossed, but not everyone is equally to blame for crossing these boundaries and not everyone is equally exposed to the effects of crossing these boundaries. The most resource-intensive sectors, lifestyles and economies predominantly of the global north have pushed the earth to her limits. Continuous, indiscriminate and unnecessary growth of resource-intensive sectors has led to environmental degradation and is exposing already vulnerable populations to further risks. In order to get out of this, we must liberate our minds, our policies and our industries from this extractivist, constant growth imperative that has stifled our imaginations. A hopeful step in that direction is the Earth System Justice approach, whereby justice concerns are placed at the core of achieving sustainable futures while staying within planetary boundaries.